Nice Reviews and Tutorials video. Have you got a two litre petrol engine in a BMW that's blowing smoke? Uh, very common, unfortunately, uh, in these models of cars. This is not the um, turbocharged two litre four cylinder. This is um, up until 2012, sort of 2003 through to 2012, that engine. And like the V8, um, the 4.4 litre V8, these guys are renowned for doing valve stem seals. That's so around here, inside the engine, under the valve here, you've got exhaust valve going down, inlet valve. When the inlet valve goes down, it lets the petrol in. And then when the exhaust valve goes down, it lets the exhaust out. There's a seal on the top of that, which up the top here where there's oil running and all the moving parts are, there's a seal um, so that that oil doesn't get down into the cylinder, both on the exhaust valve and also on the inlet valve. And those valve stem seals fail on these engines. Um, very sad, but it's just the fail point that these guys have. And it's an expensive repair. Uh, if you are buying a secondhand BMW, it's definitely, this test I'm about to tell you about is something that you must do. Um, because here in Australia, the very cheapest you'll get the valve stem seals done on this four cylinder is about 3,000. Uh, it's 5,000 and over for a V8. So it's a big expensive build, big tear down on the motor to get it done. Now, the test to know if it's valve stem seals or not is actually just to leave your car running on idle for 10 minutes. You would have noticed puffs of smoke coming out the back. Valve stem seals is not so much smoke all the time as what it is smoke occasionally and a lot of smoke will come out when it releases uh, through those valve stem seals. Yeah, so the test is very simple on these. You just leave your car to run and idle for 10 minutes and then you give it a kick. And if you get a burst of blue smoke when you give it a rev and give it some acceleration, that shows that the valve stem seals are out. That's, that's the definitive test to work out what it is. Now, if you've got that, it's very tempting to go, oh, well, I'll just keep on going. The problem is these engines are really quite complex. And if you're constantly burning oil and that's going into your exhaust system, down on the side here is the start of your exhaust. So going into your exhaust, that goes down to a catalytic converter and it's got oxygen sensors. It's got all sorts of gear in the exhaust system that the computer takes measurements. If you coat all of that with oil or burnt oil, you're actually gonna do a lot more damage. And a catalytic converter, again, on one of these guys, is very, very expensive. Um, so it's not a matter of ah, just let it go. You will actually be causing a run-on effect and end up with a much more expensive bill at the end. Mind you, if you've got yourself a car that's only worth a couple of grand, uh, that's different because the repair is gonna be worth more than the value of the car. So it's probably gonna be a new engine or end of the car or just run it, let it smoke long as you don't kill the planet in the process. So there you go. It is an expensive repair. It is a DIY. I am going to do this engine here. Um, so I'll put a link up here when I've done that. I happen to have a mechanic friend who's willing to do it for me. So we're gonna go through and put up a video for those who wanna have a DIY yourself. The parts for the valve stem seal change are not expensive at all. Uh, it's just a huge amount of labor involved. You have gotta take all of the valve, the rockers, the heads, the whole lot, it's all gonna come off and then you've got to drop the valves out. Um, it's, a, it's quite a complex program. I'll go into that in another video. The other um, cause for it can be, if you see up here, there's a, um, a little valve cap. That's the PCV valve. There's a little rubber uh, grommet inside there. Have a look, I, I did a video on a 4.4 liter V8 um, that shows how to replace those. Again, you can easily see where that is and you can get to it to pop that cap off and check the rubber grommet to uh, see if your piece of eval was leaking from that point. But that is the two most common leaking points. Piece of eval, have a look at that video I linked if you wanna investigate that side. That's a very inexpensive repair and valve stem seals uh, is unfortunately a complex and expensive repair if that's what it turns out being. But if your BMW is smoking, it's most likely one of those, except if you've got yourself a 20i um, with the turbocharger on it. They are not renowned or known for doing PCV valves. They have another issue. Have a look at the other video uh, which talks about blue smoke coming out at startup uh, with one of these guys.